we live in, there is an obsession around images. This obsession is related to the capturing images and the capturing images of ourselves. Wherever you go, you are always surrounded by cameras, by people taking photos, by people posing, by people capturing images. What interests me is how people behave around cameras. The second when they begin to pose. Barthes explains it as, when I feel myself observed by a lens, everything changes. I constitute myself in the process of posing. I instantaneously make another body for myself. I transform myself in advance into an image. I am planning to have 50 disposable cameras up around several cities in England with a sign asking people to take photos of themselves, but not telling them where the photos go. In the act of taking a photo of themselves, and by looking at the photos people take, I can see how people act when they're asked to photograph themselves and their behaviour relating to photography. Here are a few examples of people taking a photograph of themselves with the cameras I provide. I think it's quite fun to try and work out what people are thinking when they take the photos. This is what I think the thought process seems to be. What is that? Why is there a camera hanging up? Who's it for? They want me to take a photo? What do they want me to take a photo of? What shall I take a photo of? Shall I take a photo of myself? If I take a photo of myself, how does the photographer want me to pose? How do I want to pose? How do I normally pose? I'm in public, does this mean I can't pose crazily? Are people looking at me? Is the photographer looking at me? It doesn't say who the photos are for. Is that creepy? Does it matter? It says it's for a photo project. Does that mean I have to be really arty? I don't know how to be arty. I kind of want to be in the photo, because I, I want to be so I can find the photograph again. How shall I, how shall I best do this? Shall I ask someone, or shall I take a selfie? How do I want myself to be represented? Kind of embarrassing to take a selfie, but it's quite embarrassing to ask someone as well. Maybe I'll take a selfie. I wonder what the photographer wants me to do. Okay, do I have everything I want in the frame? Is the film rolled on? This thought process, which I imagine happens when people take the photograph, shows a huge awareness and intertextuality of how to construct a photo and how to represent oneself in a photo. Here's how a few of the photos turned out.
But what do these photos mean further than that we all know how to use cameras nowadays? Well, if I run a couple of the photos together, you can see a few similarities in the way the people in the photos decided to set the picture up and how to behave in the picture. All these people are posing and they are consciously setting up a public image of themselves to show to the photo project. If we look at this one for example, they all lean close together and smile, arms around each other. They are close and happy, constructing a representation of the public which shows them as positive and rounded. People pose in the text similarly also, which suggests the way they pose is predetermined by the text, other texts they've come into contact with. Culture has told them how to pose and they adhere to this idea. Here is an example of how people approach the cameras. As you can see, there is little thought in the way people approach the cameras, they do it very quickly. People want to interact with the project. They want to be part of the project without even knowing what it is or where the photos are going. This seems to link to various anxieties around photographs and people. This firstly shows an anxiety around the construction of reality and who controls it. In this society, which is full of cheap cameras, surveillance cameras and constant documentation and representation, people are not in control of their own image. People are anxious to control their own image. This is why people take so many self-portraits. When they pick up the camera I provide, they do not just want to interact with the project, they want to be able to, able to control their image and give out an image of themselves which is constructed and perfect, as shown above. This might seem to show that people are anxious about what the, worst, what the rest of the world thinks about what they're seeing in the photograph. I feel that because people don't know where the images are going, this isn't the fear. The anxiety seems to be that if people aren't photographed, they won't be able to prove it happened. Again, because of all the images which are being taken all the time, and the way that now we take hundreds of photos, photography has become more than capturing an image, photography is a way of experiencing and remembering the past. And because we've become so used to using photography as a way to remember, it also becomes a way to experience the present, and even a way to make the present real. In taking a photo with the camera I provide, people are able to tell everyone they existed there, in that moment, and that they took part in the project. They are constructing a reality. But the feelings towards the final image, after they're done, well, it's disposable. Because we are represented in so many images, people don't seem to care too much about what happens to them. This disposable camera project will hope to collect over 500 images, and through this hopefully create a street photography documentary around camera behaviour and in an image obsession on the street.